Well, the price you pay to gas up and to heat your home is rising today in four provinces. We're talking about New Brunswick, Ontario, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. The federal government's carbon tax taking effect today for individual Canadians in those provinces, as all four have refused to bring in their own price on emissions. Now, as for other provinces that have brought in plans, carbon pricing plans have been approved by the federal government. Nothing changes there. But again, the prices are going up in those province, four provinces today. Like one of the four provinces that is seeing this increase, that has seen this increase this morning, of about five cents a litre on gasoline. I've been speaking with people today. It might be because it's Monday, it might be because it's early, or it might be because their gas is more expensive, but they aren't happy about it. They haven't been happy about it. Welcome back to Andrew Says. We're wearing our investigative glasses today for a deep dive into carbon tax and reading the documents online from the Government of Canada websites, you see that it doesn't make much sense, it's kind of hypocritical, and it feels like the government's treating us like children. So Canada puts out about 500 tons of CO2 per year, and that's been pretty flatlined across the board. Um, for the last 20 years or so in the 500s we never really gone over but being honest we're in the top 10 for emissions which is not something to brag about but once you get towards the top five russia india china japan and united states that's when things start to get way up and we're not close to that so we can uh, say that we're nowhere near the the top offenders but we're still in the top 10 which is obviously not a good thing now something else you hear online is people saying that canada actually has a carbon sink which would mean that our vast forestry from coast to coast, north to south, actually absorbs a bunch of the CO2, so we don't have to worry about emissions. That's actually not true. Um, we have about a minus 20 factor on that, so we're still up in the 573 territory as of 2017, so it's nothing to brag about, and at the same time we're not absorbing more carbon than we're emitting, we're still in the top 10 by by all measures that we could find in terms of who's keeping these statistics and per person, per country, that sort of thing. But the rest of it doesn't really make sense. And taxing companies in order to just give money back, even though the cost of living is going to be high, doesn't really do anything except it kind of makes people poor, makes their cost of living go up. You've seen what happens in France with the yellow vest movement. And they're going to make everything cost more but you're also going to give us the money back. Couldn't, couldn't you just tax us less then? Couldn't you just tax these companies less and save us the money that way? But no, it's more like a you're, you're going to do what we say and until you learn the cost of living is going to get higher. So some of the hypocrisy, some of the biggest hypocrisy in these documents comes in the way they talk about climate events and weather events. Because on one hand, you have when people talk about uh, it's snowing or it's cold in the summertime, People say, you're stupid, that's not global warming, that's just weather. But in these documents, it's riddled with people saying that the um, there's record high temperatures in the summer, and there's flooding, and there's all these catastrophic weather events that are going to happen more and more frequently because of climate change. So you can't have it both ways where on one side, it's stupid to say it, and the other side, well, you know, that's just facts. That's just something you're going to have to face, that we have 12 years left to live. <laughs> So it's not making uh, a whole lot of sense here. And again, it's sort of like it's being written for children in the sense that do what I say, not as I do. And we're going to get the ends justify the means. So it doesn't matter how we get there. We're going to force you into doing what we want. Some more, some more stuff that you need to pay close attention to is this is basically their mission statement. Here it is. The remainder of fuel charge proceeds will be used to provide support, that's the carbon tax, to the provinces, schools, hospitals, small and medium businesses, colleges and universities, municipalities, not-for-profit orgs, and indigenous communities, which will help save money and create good jobs. In Ontario, for example, this amount is estimated at $1.45 billion over the next five fiscal years. So whatever that means, right, they're going to give money back to the small and medium businesses. So here's a chart of what they're giving back to the small and medium sized businesses each year if they don't make the standards. Pay attention to the preamble up above. It says, support available to small and medium sized businesses in provinces that do not meet the federal carbon pollution pricing standard. So what that means is they're taxing them because they don't meet the pollution standard. And if they continue not to meet the pollution standard, 
they'll give them some money back. So why not just give them the money to <laughs> meet the standard? So you're taxing them because they don't meet the standards. And if they continue to not meet the standards, then you're giving them money back. Hmm. Makes a lot of sense. You're already bad. This is a very liberal or democratic party way of thinking. Come from the stance where you're already bad, and you must prove to us that you're not. You didn't quite get there, so we'll give you some of the money back. You know, we, we can't uh, say that you're good enough yet, but we'll give you some of the money back to help you get there, to help you be a better person, and help save the environment. So here are the savings that they're pushing. $307 for a family of four in Ontario, for example, per year, or $154 for a single adult. So me, I'm going to get this fat check of $154 in the mail uh, at some point during the year. Even though when I go to fill up gas, it's probably $5 more each time. Heating prices are up. Electricity prices are up. And it goes up every year, by the way. It's not just one year. We're, we're going every year. It's going to get uh, it's going to get better and better. And they're not just doing this to the energy corporations and all these different types of energy uh, sources. They're doing it to schools and institutions, too. So here's the school chart where they say universities, colleges, hospitals, schools, municipalities, nonprofits, organizations, and indigenous communities. We're going to take this money from you now. But if you behave... You'll get some of it back. Okay, this is where it doesn't even make any more sense. These are their own government institutions. So hospitals and schools aren't ma aren't making the appropriate changes. Well, I guess we'll give some of the money back then. It's already the tax money. So you're taxing them to collect money, and then you're giving more of the, some of the tax money back if they don't make it to these predetermined marks. It doesn't make any sense. I'm going to take some of your money away. I'm going to take your money away and give you a little bit back, even if you're still doing the same things that I took the money away from the first place. That means tuition costs can go up. That means medical costs can go up. And for some reason, this is going to affect natives as well, even though the liberals say they love the natives. But if you watch closely, Trudeau does not get along with the elders. And it's just not going to work. Cost of living across the board is going to go up, not just energy costs. But with uh, government institutions too, so it really makes m m no sense to me, and it shouldn't to you, because fundamentally it makes no sense. You can't just tax people into being better people, just like you can't just artificially raise the minimum wage and expect prices not to go up. They need to try legislating some of these changes. You can't just force it, okay? And it doesn't make sense to <laughs> you're giving these institutions that are government-run tax money and then you're taking it away only to give it back again doesn't make any sense but if you behave Canadians out there maybe you'll get some of your carbon tax money back okay four hundred dollars a year of your own money does that sound fair Intellectual, you know, like fake news. It's fake. Like when Donald Trump says that you are fake news. Like, like the, the conservative press, fake news is their latest thing. Yeah. And and Dan Rather, the godfather of modern media, fake news. I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay? Can you stay? You are fake news, sir. Go ahead. Can you stay?